I am doing MBA Masters of Business Administration. So, like in Australia, you in US also you won't have working rights in because USA you can only work within the year where you are studying. MBA comparison, I have seen other uh, in same thing like commerce. So, accordingly, commerce MBA is bit high. It is nineteen five hundred. So the thing is, if you get into a good job. A good company, so you can ask them for the sponsorship. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. to be very honest, I was better in India. Hi guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. This is Caps Vlog with Tandeep in RMIT University campus, Bowen, Bowen Street. That's Bowen Street, right? That's Bowen Street. And today we have a special topic, which is. MBA, I'm doing MBA Masters of Business Administration, so Capswalk is gonna ask me questions and I'm gonna answer that. For just helping you guys and uh, as I told you that I'm gonna try my best to cover as many courses as we can in RMIT. So today is all about MBA. Let's talk basic questions first and then we'll gradually go forward, right? Yeah. All good? All good. Okay, and, and I'm also gonna be using this phone to like, you know, as a mic. And then you will be helpful. Oh, sorry, it will be helpful for you to just um, understand us properly. How are you? Uh, how are good? How are you today? All good, buddy. So the first question is in MBA. But before going to MBA, I just want to know how your personal experience is. Like, how you find our MIT? How you found Australia for your dream course or your dream? Career? To be very honest, I was better in India. Okay, <laughs> I liked India better. Yeah, there I was. I was getting every each and everything. I was a pamper child, so yeah, I love. Yeah, I miss India on a regular basis. Yep, and but still, that's but, yeah. I even RMIT has given me opportunities. I you as well know that I am welfare officer of now Indian Club, so it is a kind of a stage to go more and to perform more to develop your skills so that is well and good I am developing each and every day within individually and RMIT gives you assignments for your class for you what you have come for yeah. and yeah that's about I was doing MIB Masters in International Business now I have changed to MBA as I see that there are more opportunities in MBA now we will get yeah we will okay um, so this is all about more of your personal experience right but if I want to know like it chose our MBA, mm -hmm. right? So how you find like RMIT is the correct university, or how you found that whatever the early post was, that Australia is a dream country for you. So uh, there are, to be very honest, in comparison Canada. Uh, if you say or by Australia, so Canada is getting overpopulated now. Okay. Everybody knows that. Okay. US is a bit difficult to get in. Okay. And like in Australia, you in US also you won't have working rights in because USA you can only work. Within the year where you are studying. I know this because my cousins are studying over there. Okay. So that's where the options were little less. So I chose Australia and I did try to get in Unimel. But Unimel told that we are not taking children from Uttarakhand. Monash told the same. So my third option was to go for RMIT University. Now here I am today. Okay. And what was your early earlier course before, uh, before this? Masters in International Business. And now it's? MBA Masters in Business Administration. If I'm correct, I guess in the last semester you need to do any particular specialization, right? In the MBA thing. Uh, in MIB, no. In MBA, in MIB there is a journal. Means you can do in whatever you choose your majors. Same goes for MBA also. Okay. Well, I, have you any plans for what you want to choose for this? Right now, I to be very honest, I don't have. Because I'm going to see where I... Means I still have two semesters. So I'll see where I'm getting more opportunities. Where my future is more secure. And where I get good, where can I get good scores for that? Where I can score high and I can show that I am actually a well capable candidate for jobs and opportunities. Okay, so you're gonna figure it out in the future, not you're sure right now, but maybe a future. Okay, let's talk on the course now. So this was all the basics of how you found RMIT, how you found Australia, right? Right? And little bit of his personal experience. We'll talk more on this, but let's come basically on the course. So MBA, Masters of Business Administration. Right. How is the course? I mean, first question related to the course is, how is the course structure? What's the course structure? Course structure is in when you come, arrive first semester, there are four that is compulsory subjects. Uh, actually, there are five compulsory subjects, but the fifth which you do is in second semester. So that is in MBA, that is design thinking, strategy, 
financial analytics and the design thinking strategy financial and leadership and management and what is marketing for managers okay so yeah and this is like after this and when you come in second sem so you can choose in which majors you have to do like i don't know many but i know three that if you can if you want to go in finance you can go in finance if you want to go to the marketing you can go in marketing if you want to go in hr so you can go in hr okay yeah so it depends on which one you want to go with yeah. but this is the basic overall course yeah. structure just five subjects you have to necessarily do it okay and in addition to that the next question is um how the lectures are how the professors are of this course which you are having should i be honest over here <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah like uh, teachers are like some teachers are very good some teacher are okay okay uh, so like and to be very honest in rmit i don't know about what other unit in my course it is like what they they give modules their modules are on canvas so what they give you have to study them and come to the uni and then you are better to the class okay uh if you like yeah. if you more of consistent and punctual regarding their modules then it will be better for you to just um you know keep up the pace and study in the same pace yeah. regarding the classes and and with the assignments thing assignment saying is that uh, you will have one group assignment and two individuals it can vary course to course to be very honest now i have a course leadership and management and uh, like i talked to my seniors so last semester they have a you know, one group assignment and two indi- but this time it is all individual okay they have tried a new thing this time so they are telling that it we will see that how individual is capable how he can go further and do better so this is the new kind of module they have started in this in your semester for so we'll yeah. check and experiment how this going to go for the future if that's going to working cuz similar happened into my course so uh, we have to write um, in one of the assignments you address it thousand words but now they have kind of um condensed the number of words to almost 1000 or 1500 so they're just trying so it's a good thing is they're always trying if you get feedback to the students uh, feedback to the sorry uni people right yep yep i agree on that uh there are opportunities for mba students if they are very uh, like for uh, mba some of the mba students also went to the china right now okay. for two weeks for study exchange uh that was their miss uh, i didn't know about that i came to know a bit later so i wasn't able to but i know that some people some children do went to the china for the knowledge of how to go in the market how to read the firm how best how techn- how everything works out okay yeah this makes us to go to the next question which is the affordability what's the fee structure of this course mba comparison i have seen other uh, in same thing like commerce so accordingly commerce mba is bit high it is 19500 okay uh so i have seen people who is doing majors in specific stream so they don't have that it is like mine is 19500 if you are per coming, semester right so every semester yeah per semester 19500 yeah yeah yep, yep. every semester 19500 so it's like for it is bit costly and it like if you go for the pr mba doesn't have pr uh you will have to figure out something if you get a sponsorship from a company if you do well then you will have a sponsorship from the company then you can go all right okay i'm uh, coming back to the same thing which you said be yeah, which means how the permanent residency works in the course so if you have any knowledge honest knowledge hmm. related to this uh mba if you do mba or you do any commerce not business analytics business analytics give you the pr but regardless of that other subjects like master is marketing master in finance or master that is like finance is bit higher Well, um, means they are all equal, not higher and not lower. But like MBA or these courses doesn't give you that much of credit score. So the thing is, if you get into a good job, a good company, so you can ask them for the sponsorship. Uh, yeah, okay. and then you can get it. Otherwise, it is gonna be bit difficult. But it's not like impossible, impossible. But it's just gonna be difficult depending on how you do it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the next question is: After doing this course, um, what are the you know? future pathways or future roles that you can get from this course if you are if anyone wants to do it yep. in RMIT or in any other university i guess it will be the similar yep. future pathway so what do you want to say on this uh on that actually that depends which majors you are going to do okay. uh, which majors like if you go for the finance then you will have finance options or if you go for the marketing then you will have marketing if you go for the hr you will have more hr 
but uh, see my, i haven't decided to yet but i think i will be doing when my majors in finance okay uh so it can be different at last semester uh so it is like you will have to study that where you are going to go better okay uh so uh, and for i will suggest that mba is actually in australia you will have you should have a profile on linkedin mm mm-hmm. because if you connect from linkedin to the firms they actually look into your profile and you make your linkedin profile very good and very high you can ask your professors they do help my professor is helping me they they do help you so you should have a linkedin profile and whatever you do each and every course put on them little bit of fancy little bit straight forward and little bit of fancy it means you will have to hype up that and put that into that then you can have more opportunities that what you have done send then you, um, companies firms do hire you do look at your uh, cv or do look at your resume then they will let you know that are they going to hire or not i mean if you can just name some of the roles which comes up hr human resource hr finance yeah. analyst um, yeah, right? yeah 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 Business business analyst comes into this because it comes into uh, IT field as well. If I am correct, right? Yep, yep. That's why I told that business analytics do have a PR, but for business analytics, you need to have coding, some background of coding. But is there a possibility like you can relate your earlier study that probably you had batch done bachelor's in little bit of coding stuff, and then you can relate that? Hey, yeah, I'm, okay. yes, yes, yes. That's possible. Ah, right? uh, yeah. My my friends too over here are who have background from engineering, engineering, but they are doing. business analytics they are doing mba so it's they tell that if you have learned coding or something then it is bit easier to you for that okay so course structure done affordability done personal experience done how you found a pr done future path is done this was sandeep he is in rmit still if you have any questions i'll i'll mention his instagram id just coming up here you can just text him up you can please reply if you get time you or you can just comment in the same video whenever you get time you can just come back to the same yeah. um, video and then we can have answers and if you have any other query or if you want video on any other topic keep us posted in instagram youtube anywhere um and this is kaplock kandeep signing off from rmit bond street see you guys bye do join indian club of rmit <laughs>